Monday.com has invested significantly into integrating AI directly with the platform. I'm excited to share with you today some of the ways that you can use AI. Stick around all the way to the end because the last three features are game changing and you don't want to miss them. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. The first way that I want to share with you how you can use AI is in a filter. Here you can see that I have an opportunities board and let's say I want to very easily filter information. I can click on this filter button or go to advanced filters, which would be clicking on here, and I can click filter with AI. Now what I can do is add a prompt. So here I'm gonna say, show me all the leads that are assigned to me that are not closed and over $15,000. I just need to hit filter. Now you can see that my filter was applied. So there's only three items on the board where I am marked as rep and the deal value is over $15,000. Now for very basic filters, like if you just wanna search by yourself, you may not need to use AI, but if you have something that's multi-step or more complicated, or you're just not sure how to use filters, this AI filtering option is something that could really be helpful. Let's head over to the second way that you can use AI. The second way that you can use AI is within the update section. As you can see here, I have an update and I'm writing back to Rosa saying, this is an update from the client. I just copied what the client wrote, but it's actually pretty long. I can click on this star and I'm gonna have the option to either improve the text or shorten it. In this case, I'm gonna shorten it. You can see that the AI gave me a shortened version of the text and I can add it to my update. So do you see that now it added the information here? So I have the original, but I also have either a shortened or an improved version of the text that I wrote in an update. So if you're writing quick updates to your team member and you kind of just want to jot down some notes, you can use this feature to make your notes a little more eligible, give more details. So that way the person reading them can fully understand them. One of the more powerful ways that you can use AI is to have AI columns within your Monday boards. You can't do it on every column, but a lot of the columns allow you to have a feature called autofill with AI. So I'm going to jump into this contacts board. And one of the issues that I find is pretty common that when you're sending out an email to a contact, you don't necessarily want to say, you know, hi, Amber Smith. You just want to say, hi, Amber. So you need to be able to pull out their first name because why would you want to do it manually? So what you can do is you can actually have an AI column that will do this for you. So if you click on these three dots here, I'm gonna add a column to the right and I'm gonna add a text column. Now, once I click on these three dots here, you see I have this option to autofill with AI. There actually are a lot of different options that you can use for this autofill. You can extract information, summarize, translate, or use a custom prompt. So the custom prompt is really, you know, whatever you decide to add. But for this example, I'm going to extract information. And you can see here that I have a preview. So here I'm gonna extract the first name It even like prompts it because it knows that I'm already on this board and helps me out. And I'm gonna pull it from the contact name. Now, if I want, I can also add instructions and you can see this is a preview of what it's gonna look like. Once I hit save and reply, so watch what's going to happen to this column. First, you can see that it has this little star showing over here, showing me that it's an AI column. And you can see that everything was automatically added. Now, I know this is a pretty straightforward example, but there's a lot of examples like this where people want information divided in a different way. For example, I've seen 
uh, companies that have a location column, but they want the state separated out for some reason. So again, that's another example where you can use an AIA column to just pull out the state. But there's a lot of different scenarios where you can use the custom AI prompts to pull out information from other columns within your board. So this is a feature that I highly recommend you check out to see how many more things you can automate on your board using AI. The fourth feature that we're going to discuss about AI is within the Emails and Activities app. This is an app that is unique to the Monday CRM or Monday service. Here you can see that I'm in a specific client called Glen Auto. Now I added as part of the Emails and Activities, I added a note about my call with him and just a little bit about the company. You can see my notes here. These are kind of like shorthands that I take while I'm on a call. Now, if I click on this AI summary, you can see here that it gives me information about recent communication, interaction summary, uh, deal stages, participants, needs and pain points, proposal solution. It gives me a whole summary of everything that was in my note and I can add it to my timeline. So if I add it to my timeline, let's just see what happens. So here you can see I have the AI summary on top and it is really nice because I have a summary, I can click on key details, next steps. Obviously this is dependent on the information that I've added here, but it's a really easy way to just summarize everything that's going on and it's all automated. If I click on these three dots, I can pin it to the top. So for you know an active sales board, it's probably really helpful to have these summaries on the top. Continuing with emails and activities, I can also use AI to help me write emails within Monday. So if I click on new email, you can see that an email pops up here. Now I can click again on the AI assistant and you can see that it gives me some options. An example, write me a hundred word friendly email to a prospect, or I can use AI to write my own email. So I'm going to add in here, write back to the client asking if they're still interested in moving forward. Let's see what it generates. Now you can see that an entire email is being created for me. It has a subject line, more information, um, you know, expanding upon my email and then some information on the bottom. If I click this button, you can see that it automatically adds to my email. However, these are not placeholders from the columns. Maybe that's something we'll, that Monday will work on. So this is something that it looks like there's more to be developed here. You know, one specific thing is like pulling in the placeholders from the board, but for helping me write my emails, I'm having an email editor and writer write within Monday where I'm sending the emails from. The next AI feature that I'm going to share with you is a form builder. Essentially, what I can do is have a form builder help me build out my form. It will build out all the columns and build out the form that I need. So let's jump in. I can click on this plus button and click on the option for form. You can see up here, it's creating a form for me. And right now I have this AI builder that popped up and it's asking me for details about what I want on my form. As soon as I click in, you can see that it actually gives me suggestions for things that I can use. For this example, I'm going to add a custom prompt. So I'm going to paste my prompt here, which is I want to build out a form for my website that has basic information, name, company, email, and location. Let's see what happens when we click generate preview. You can see that my form was built. I have the four columns that I mentioned. Now I can change the prompt. Let's say I realized I wanted to add something else. It even made two of the columns required. Let's say that this is good enough for me. I can click on confirm. And now I have a form within my board that I can easily share or copy to use on my website. If I go back to the main table, you can see these are the columns that I wanted in my form and that showed up in my form. 
And again, if I want to edit my form, I simply can go back to the form and make whatever changes I want. This next feature that I'm going to share with you really takes AI to the next level. Not only is it analyzing the information, but it's creating a report for me. Here you can see that we are in the enterprise version of work management, and I have a dashboard of a portfolio and all of the project boards within that portfolio. When I click on the option export, I have an option to generate a report doc. Let's click on that. Here you can see that I have a notification that says generate an editable AI report. It's basically a summary of your dashboards, just letting you know there are some unsupported widgets. So let's generate it. You can see that my report was just generated. First, it pulls in a title, the date that I generated it, and here it has a summary. Now you can see here, some of them don't have an AI generated summary for each widget. But let's look at a, a good example. So here you can see this widget, it gives me information. All projects on the website portfolio dashboard show, show a consistent trend of spending 28 hours of effort against plans, 34 hours, indicating a shortfall of six hours per project. But this gave me insights, like valuable insights into a dashboard, which is summarizing a lot of different projects. Now, if I wanna take this to the next step, I also can share this with clients, I can download this, and I have this to share. I even can use an AI assistant on this to make more changes. But you can see that with the click of a button, I was able to use AI to summarize the dashboards in a report about all my projects that I'm working on. The next game-changing feature that Monday released is the Monday MCP. The Monday MCP connects Monday to an AI agent like Claude or Cursor. Here you can see I am connected to Claude. And what I can do is trigger the creation of boards, items, make updates, do tons of things from within Claude, and it automatically happens within my Monday board. So let's use an example. I'm going to paste this simple prompt, add a task to do monthly reports on this board, and I need to list the board. I'm gonna click this button. And if you look down here, you can see the last task is a make error. Here I need to just allow the MCP. Here you can see that it's starting to get the board schema. Now it's telling me what it's doing, it's creating a task. And you can see that the task monthly report was created. I know this is a really simple example, but can you imagine if you're working in your AI agent and all of a sudden you remember tasks you need to do, you wanna build out boards, you wanna even get an update, you know, look at my board and analyze this information. If you're writing an email within your AI agent and you wanna pull in information from your boards, you can probably set a prompt to pull in data from your boards. The Monday MCP is just at the beginning. It was just launched, but I think this is a really, really powerful tool to integrate your AI agents directly within Monday. Currently, Monday Magic is in the alpha version, which means that it's still being built. Just seeing it in the alpha version, it's so cool. <laughs> I think that you're gonna see that over time, there's gonna be a lot more features that are developed and it's gonna become a really, really powerful tool for you to use. But essentially what Monday Magic does is it allows you to enter a prompt and it will make a suggestion to build out boards, dashboards, and a whole workflow for you. So first it will explain what its reasoning is, why it did it, why it suggested what it suggested for your boards. Then it actually, automatically creates a video explaining how these boards work, and then you can actually have it built within your workspace. So let's jump into an example. Here you can see I created a prompt saying that I am an ops lead managing internal and external events. I wanna plan venues, assign different roles, track RSVPs, and keep vendors and teams aligned. Now you can see here, as the prompt ran, it gave me the reasoning about why it built it out. 
And here's the whole reasoning. I'm not going to go through all the details. Then it builds my solution. Then what it did is it actually created this video explaining what the solution was and why it created it and how it works, which is just really cool. So technically you can like use this as an SP showing your team, okay, we built this out and this is how it works. If you want to make changes, you can always come in here and make changes, but here you can, you can see the details of everything that happens. I have a preview of it over here so I can jump between different boards. Like here's the dashboards that I created. Here's a board about vendor management, another dashboard, all the different information that it's created. I also can click on solution overview. And what this does is it explains the backgrounds and the thinking behind the AI. So here it talks about personas, different features, the user flow, building blocks, all of this information, and I can easily sort through the different ones and I can download it, which is really cool because again, you have it as an SOP. Now, assuming that this is a solution that I like, I then can just click on this button, create solution, and it's gonna automatically create the solution within my monday.com boards. Honestly, like this will save you hours of time. You can tell Monday what you need and then it will go build it. Monday Sidekick is one of the newest features that Monday.com released. It literally is a sidekick that sits right next to you on every single task that you're on, and you simply need to click it, and it helps you with whatever you need. In the example of this video, someone needs to find venues with New York, and they're asking the sidekick for ideas, and it generates ideas. I personally love the idea of Monday side. It's so easy to use and it's so intuitive. It sits on every single task and every single item that you have on your board. And you literally just need to click it and you can do anything. You don't need to go to another board. You don't need to open other things. You don't need to open a file. Everything is right there. I'm really excited to see how this feature is developed over time. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.